I have the perfect Ryobi hack for you guys here. So if you remember a few nights ago, we uploaded a video here that was our tool review video here of this Ryobi Easy Clean Pressure Cleaner here. Uh, this was part of that Ryobi Days buy one get one deal. And remember I showed you one of the disadvantages about this tool was this plastic quick connect here that this looks like, oh, it would, it'll work with all the other tools, but it doesn't because they made theirs proprietary here. So Ryobi made a different design on this to put other sprayers or soap dispensers on the hose. It's not gonna work because they won't plug into this because it's proprietary. Well, you know, I'm an engineer, so I came up with the perfect hack here for you guys here that will allow us to convert this to this beauty right here. And this will only cost you a few dollars in parts, and this will be compatible with all of your other professional grade pressure washing equipment. Okay, so here is the problem that we're trying to solve here, right? So here you can see we're using the hose here, and we're done with it. And now I want to do a quick change. My entire hose system here is equipped for quick change. So what I do here is I'll turn the water off here, and you see I can just pop the nozzle off anytime I want. And now I want to use the soap gun, and the soap gun has the same quick connect system, so we just go like that, see? All right, so here I'll show it to you a little more close up here. So see how we just unplug it out of there? So this is how the quick disconnects right here. You just push in on the, on the ring there and it dislodges it. Now I went one step further here, as you can see, because I also added an inline shutoff valve here, which is the best thing in the world, because now I never have to go back to the hose bib to shut the water off. All I do is I just turn it off here. So here I'll show you what it looks like when it's on, see? And that's what it looks like when it's off. You just turn it like that. So that way, this is what we call hot swappable, which means we can swap all of our components in and out of here while the water's on, because all I have to do is just turn off the valve here. And now I turned it back on and it's ready to shoot water again. See? Okay, the problem is, is here's our quick connect here, and it's not compatible with the architecture of the water inlet quick connect that Ryobi put on here. And the reason is, for some dumb reason, Ryobi decided to make their own cheapy one here out of plastic, and it's not compatible with the other hoses. Now this will screw onto a standard hose, but we don't want to mess around with screwing things on and off hoses. We want the quick disconnect. So here's where my Ryobi hack comes into play here. Here's what we do. Okay, so first thing you do is you pull off the Ryobi disconnect here so that we can begin doing our Ryobi hack. And I want you to focus right here on the water inlet port. Okay, now I want you to focus right here and you can see how on the left side and on the right side of the, the plastic base here, it's straight, which means we can fit our wrench on it. More specifically, we can fit our 11 16 inch wrench on it. So just go and grab yourself a regular good old fashioned 11 16 inch wrench. And if you don't have a wrench, then you can go and get a regular pair of channel locks here. That will also do the trick. So the wrench will just fit right around it like that. And we just loosen it. And I had already pre-loosened it a little bit anyway, but that's all you really gotta do is just unscrew it out, right? Okay, so now that we have the part removed here, off of the Ryobi Easy Clean pressure cleaner here. You can see here's where we unscrewed it from and that looks exactly like the intake of a hose right there. The same threading. And what's nice about this is you can see it even has the black gasket in there that goes all the way around. So we are not going to have to use any Teflon tape on the threads. Okay, so now I have this male quick connect part here. So as you can see, this bottom threaded part here is made for a hose to, to thread onto the end of the hose. And then the other side here is your quick connect side. So let's adapt that onto the Ryobi Easy Clean pressure cleaner. So we take our part and we just screw it in there. And so there we have it. And guess what, folks? Okay, so we now have the Ryobi set up as a quick connect, just like our spray nozzle and just like our water bottle here. So there we are now, one big happy family, our three different attachments that we can now quickly connect and disconnect from our hose. 
And the beauty of it here is now you can see we have a nice metal water inlet there where before we had a cheap plastic one. Now keep in mind, it's still screwed into a plastic housing there, but it's probably a lot stronger there than having the uh, shearing and pivoting forces on down here. Well, this is how I'm gonna permanently leave my Ryobi Easy Clean pressure cleaner now, now that I've modified it with my Ryobi hack here. And so now we have a nice brass quick connect on here. Mm. Okay, now the moment of truth. Let's connect the hose up to it. And it's nice and snug in there. Turn the water on. So we are now ready to flow. Start spraying. And as you can see here, there's no dripping water out of it. There's no leaks on it. The quick connect is holding very nicely here for us. What a perfect solution this turned out to be. Okay, so here we are here. Let's working just fine. And there's no leaks here. It's nice and dry here. Come on guys, did you really expect anything other than a perfect solution from me? Come on. Well, I hope you're finding this video useful so far and I hope it helped you come up with a great fix here for your Ryobi Easy Clean as well. And if you like this video, hey, I don't need to tell you guys what to do. You already know, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Smash that like button down below there. That lets everybody know that you like us. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, all I can say is, man, why haven't you? We have so many great videos on here. We cover everything from remodeling your homes, your kitchens, your bathrooms. We cover flooring, tiling, the worst engineering disasters you can imagine in your home, wiring, plumbing, everything. And of course, tool reviews, don't forget that. And don't forget our shop with me's in the, in the big box stores as well. So make sure you click that subscribe button down below. And when you do that, click on the little bell icon next to it. That way YouTube will alert you every time we upload a video because otherwise we will upload videos all the time and you will never even know they were up there. Well, that's it for this week, folks. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great one.